Hundreds lined the blocks in front of Sarasota County Schools administrative offices to ask for raises for teachers, aides and support staff. SNN Samantha Sonner was at the protest and has the story. Kathy Holler loves her job teaching sixth grade math at Pine View. Seeing that light bulb turn on with a student when they get it and you know they've got it, it's exciting. She's protesting so that her and other teachers can continue to do their jobs while keeping up with the cost of living. Sarasota County is a beautiful place to live, but it's expensive place to live. And we're professionals and we think we deserve a decent raise. And after all the administration got their raise, it's our turn. Protesters say raises for teachers will result in better classrooms for students. When you have a brain surgeon, do you want the best or do you want somebody that's just, eh, okay? You got to pay them. You got to pay. If you want good teachers, you got to pay them. It gives us a, a morale boost, you know, because we are feeling very low, like we're not appreciated. So uh, pay would be very much appreciated because we work very hard and our children need us. President of the Sarasota Classified Teachers Association, Patricia Gardner, says the raises are necessary to prevent more problems down the road. Right now, we're, we're at the beginning of a teacher shortage and in order, to, you, you not only need higher wages to recruit, but you need higher wages to retain. So if we can't retain our teachers, they're gonna go to other states, which they're doing to other counties, which they're doing, they're gonna go somewhere else. Acting Director of Communication for Sarasota County Schools, Joe Binswanger, says the district looks forward to restarting negotiations. Well, the district is hopeful that uh, negotiations can start again soon. Um, the district and the uh, union is only a half a percent apart, so it's uh, disappointing that negotiations have stalled when uh, the two sides are so close. Both the district and the union wanted a contract negotiated by winter break. Reporting in Sarasota, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And should the two sides not reach an agreement, the district or the union can declare an impasse. At that point, the two sides can either opt to hire a mediator or the negotiations would go to a special magistrate.